Hey guys, it's Tanya here. Thanks for watching. So I just wanted to film a really, really quick review for you guys because I don't talk about Julep makeup all that often. I think I've done a video on their lip products and maybe one of their eyeshadow palettes. But yesterday, Alex commented in the car, uh, we were driving to the States to pick up packages, and he said, have you been swatching? And there was like four fully formed, like dark colored marks on my hand. Would not like, Well, they would just look like they were fresh. And he yeah. kept saying to me, oh, those like, did you swatch today? And what I told him was actually, no, I swatched two days ago, and I've taken two showers since then. I've used olive oil, makeup remover, baby wipes, nothing was getting them off of my hands. You can still kind of see the remnants of them, but this is like day five. This is day five. So um, I really want to talk about these because A, they didn't irritate my eyes, B, they lasted forever, and I sometimes have a hard time with these type of eye products. I have quite a few different ones. Um, I have one from Makeup Forever. I've got a few different colors of that. I've got a Marc Jacobs one that I really love, and I'm gonna use that for comparison today. And then I have an Avon one that I can't wear because it irritates my eyes, and this Tarte one, which should be all natural, but super irritates my eyes. I do like these pencil-formed eye bases. I just find them easy to throw on and go. So he's just here for moral support. That's all. Anyway, Julep launched four of these kind of like cream eyeshadow bases. They go cream to powder, but they don't move. If you don't know what Julep is, it's completely a nail polish company that has slowly over time started coming out with um, makeup products. And these hands down are probably my favorite and everything that they've created. Is that basically uh, nail polish for your eyes? Like no. Well, it comes, doesn't come off like nail polish. Yeah, no, it's not nail polish for your eyes. Yeah, so, like I'm going to go ahead and swatch the four colors I have. I think there's only three colors I'm missing. Taupe Shimmer, which is a taupey shimmery color, but I have so many taupe no eye pencils. No way, Taupe Shimmer is a taupey shimmery color. <laughs> but I have so many taupe eye pencils that I could not justify another one. And there were two um, matte ones, sand and stone, but I don't wear matte eye bases, like, ever, so... I didn't pick up either of those. So I'm gonna go lightest to darkest. Now these have like a twist up on this side and then they have like a smudger on this side if you wanna smudge them out. Now I have played with these smudges quite a, a bit. They don't just pop out. Yeah, it is just a sponge. Yes. I wouldn't recommend using that and then using it on somebody else. It wouldn't be very sanitary, but if you're just gonna use it on yourself, it would be fine. So this is, well you get quite a bit of product. I would say that's not a crap ton, but it's also not very, very expensive. That's how much product you get in total. So this is Champagne Shimmer. Like, can you guys even? Can you even? It's gorgeous. This one's super metallic-y. I love this one as a throw on and go. It just gives that lid a really pretty shimmer. And you're gonna wear on the body do these things go? On your eyelids. Okay. Bronze shimmer is a gorgeous bronze color. Like this is my go-to throw on and go, but do you see how the light is reflecting these? That's a bit of a darker bronze, so but pretty. Still nice. Then there's two purpley ones. Orchard shimmer, which was the only purpley one that I really wanted. This is Orchard Shimmer. It's like a gorgeous kind of pinky purple, dusty rose almost. It's kind of like a wine color. Dark it's wine. very, very pretty. No, not even dark wine. No, it's like a dusty rose. I don't know what that is. I don't know either. But anyway, and this is one that Alice convinced me to get, which is the Plum Shimmer. I wasn't going to get this one in my box, but then Alex was like, I really like that one. That's Plum Shimmer. And I'm so glad that you convinced me to get Plum Shimmer because it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. So there's the four. And now I'm gonna leave these on, I'm gonna go film a whole completely other video, and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys just how insanely like lock proof these are. Which one is this one again? Well, this is Plum Shimmer. Okay, I'm gonna use Plum Shimmer, I'm just gonna use it on the back of my hand. Now, when you use the sponge, it totally gets rid of the color. It just really smudges it out, and it leaves you with next to no color. So you do have to kind of build those up a bit, but I just wanted to show you guys what the difference was when you use the sponge and when you don't. When you don't use the sponge, you get like a really deep, dark color. When you use the sponge, it definitely blends out the color more. You can still see it, like on the end there, does but it's the definitely less pigmented. Does the sponge work or would you recommend a brush? I would recommend not smudging these. I would recommend putting them on your eyelids, blending them out with your finger and leaving them for the day. That's how I would wear them, that's how I've been wearing them. I especially like Champagne Shimmer because this is what I do with it literally halfway through my day. When my uh, inner corner highlight is worn off, I will just take it and just... A little dab will do you. Just literally, you can literally just dab it right on and you'll see like it just pops that whole inner eye corner out. I really, really, really like these. So we're gonna go film another video and then we'll be back to say goodbye on this one. Bye. No, not goodbye yet. Oh, um, actually, just for comparison, I'm going to swatch the Marc Jacobs one. This is Marc Jacobs in the color Twinkle Pop. This is Twinkle Pop in the color... Twinkle Pop. Layla. Marc Jacobs? Layla. This is Marc Jacobs. This pencil is literally like a... 
That's gorgeous. This is expensive. It is beautiful. Gorgeous. It's pretty. You get actually a little bit more product in this one than you get in the Julep one, but you're definitely paying like double, if not double and a half the price. It's a lot. And you don't get the smudging sponge. And you don't get a smudging sponge, but it does come in this really cute packaging. Anyway, we're gonna go film another video. We will come back to these in a minute. Hey guys, we're back. So I've already filmed one other video that was about probably 20 minutes in length, and these have been sitting on my hand since then. Plus we did some cleaning up. They're all dry, yeah, we cleaned up all the glass. They're not smudging anymore. Like they're totally not smudging anymore. She's I'm gonna take life. a baby wipe and just show you guys. Yeah, like seriously, there's next to no transfer. There's a little bit on In the baby fact, wipe. In fact, the Marc Jacobs one, the expensive one, is the one that came off before the Julep ones did. Look, so, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a harder wipe and look, I can get the Marc Jacobs one entirely off. The Julep ones are still sitting strong, even where I smudged it. The smudge part is still strong. Now just to show you guys, Expert eyes, Maybelline. This is what I use is when like acetone? something will not come off my eyes, like liquid eyeliner. Um, let's just try this. The acetone. Look, can you guys see this? It's not. This is really like I'm gonna have to scrub to get these off. Hey, can you scrub my biceps? No. Please? Even then, do you guys see there's still stainage there? So these are extremely, extremely long lasting. If you're looking for a product like that's- lasting days. If you're looking for a product that you're gonna stick on your eyes, wear all day, not worry about it, not worry about smudging, not worry about anything. I will link Julep's link down below. It is not an affiliate link. It's just an easy place for you to click and go shop. These are amazing. I highly recommend these. If you've never heard of Julep or you have been interested in trying makeup from them because you think they're a nail polish company, Think again, because these bad boys are amazing. If you guys are looking for long wearing eye pencils, I definitely highly recommend these more than the MAC Paint Pots, even more than the Marc Jacobs. That makes me very sad. But these things are like stay all day. These remind me a lot of the Makeup Forever Aqua Creams, because those stay all day long. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. The Marc Jacobs The Free Spirit Palette, first off, the box with the hologram finish, is really does show fingerprints, um, but I like that it's perfectly sleek. It just says Marc Jacobs. Now, when you look at these palettes, oh, when you open it up, just so you guys know, huge mirror and this black thing, and then here's all your colors. It is beautiful. So you are losing some product here. If you look at the actual size of the eyeshadows, they are identical. I'm assuming that these just aren't as deep as these ones are. But they do look very similar. They 